Norfolk police have passed their investigation file into the incident which saw Prince Philip's Land Rover collide with another vehicle onto the Crown Prosecution Service for their consideration. The Crown Prosecution Service CPS, will examine the file and will decide whether to prosecute any individual if there is enough evidence. A police spokesperson said, we will follow the standard procedure and return the license to the DVLA. The investigation file for the collision has been passed to the Crown Prosecution Service for their consideration. Prince Philip surrendered his driving license voluntarily to police on Saturday three weeks after the crash. A Buckingham Palace spokesperson said, after careful consideration, the Duke of Edinburgh has taken the decision to voluntarily surrender his driving license. In February, Prince Philip was involved in a car collision near the Sandringham estate on the A149. The prince, who was driving a Land Rover, collided with a Kia carrying two women and a baby boy. Although Prince Philip's car took a tumble, he had no serious injuries. However, one woman in the Kia suffered a broken wrist and the other sustained cuts to her knee. A baby boy was uninjured. Both women were treated at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in King's Lynn and were discharged later that night. The 97 year old caused further controversy only a day later after he spotted behind the wheel again, this time without wearing the seatbelt. This incident prompted police to issue a warning to the prince regarding his lack of a seatbelt. A Norfolk police spokesperson said, suitable words of advice have been given to the driver. This is in line with our standard response when being made aware of such images.